Nothing in this world is as noticeable as the rapidity at which technology is evolving today. The whole development is directed towards making our lives easier and more comfortable. Phones are one of those gadgets that have seen drastic improvements throughout their existence. There are many mobile operating systems that get upgraded from time to time. Google developers created a personalized assistant inside the operating systems. Sure, it sounds like a dream to have an artificial intelligence built inside your phone, making your business calls, reservations, and taking many other daily responsibilities off your shoulders. This assistant is called Google Duplex, and in today's video, we will talk about everything you need to know about it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. First, let's talk about what exactly is Google Duplex. In May 2018, at Google I.O., the company introduced Google Duplex, a free service from Google that uses artificial intelligence that simulates a real human voice of your choice to call restaurants and reserve seats on your behalf. The technology is useful and very impressive, except in situations where the caller is an actual person. This feature was only available to some Pixel smartphone owners and not in all cities. But a year later, it became available to more Android and Apple users in more locations. Google did some small experiments just to see whether this feature would be useful in real life. One of those scenarios went down like this. On a chilly afternoon, a phone rang at the Lao Thai kitchen restaurant and the caller ID said Google Assistant. A waiter answered the phone and the caller was a man with an Irish accent trying to book tables on the weekend. This was a call made by Google Duplex. The man's voice with an Irish accent sounded very convincing. As soon as he was asked whether he was a robot, he immediately replied, No, I am not a robot, and laughed. He spoke like a real person, the waiter recalls. Google later confirmed that the caller was telling the truth. It was a call center employee. Representatives of the company said that about 25% of calls to duplex are made by a person, and in about 15% of cases when the system calls, people are also involved to some extent. The New York Times tested the feature for several days and called over a dozen restaurants. According to their observations, duplex still relies heavily on the work of call center employees. Of the four successful bookings made with duplex, three were made by humans. But when Google's smart assistant called, it sounded very real and convincing and could even answer tough questions questions. And while services like this are designed to help us, their machine-to-human approach can contribute to a big problem, the inability to tell the real from the fake. Google's AI speaks like a human when it works. When the New York Times asked Google Assistant to reserve a table for two, it uploaded a list of nearby restaurants. It then suggested calling establishments where reservations could only be made by phone. They tested the system at 10 restaurants. Some refused because they could only reserve a table if there were more than 10 guests. In the end, they made an agreement with only four restaurants. The Google Duplex artificial assistant was only able to make one reservation. The robot introduced itself as an automated booking service from Google and asked to reserve a table for Thursday. The robot deliberately paused and inserted uh into its speech to imitate a human. Several times, the restaurant manager Gene Park pretended not to understand the caller and asked him to repeat the date and number of guests. The robot patiently answered the questions over and over again. Then Park asked him, will there be children? The assistant quickly found an answer. I'm calling on behalf of a client, so I'm not completely sure, he said. Everything was perfect, Mr. Park said in an interview after the conversation with the Google bot. It's like a real person talking. Mr. Park later added that he was particularly impressed by how the bot responded about the children. The other three calls were made by the call center employees, so there was nothing impressive about that. According to Google, Duplex sometimes relies on people, in part because the program is not developed enough to make independent decisions and this way, it would be more respectful toward the business. A human will be involved in the conversation in several cases, for example, when Google is not sure whether the restaurant is accepting reservations or if the user of the system might be a spammer. Valerie Nygaard, a product manager for Duplex, said that for our reservation at the Tibetan restaurant, the company might have had a person place the call because it lacked signals indicating the restaurant took reservations. The next day, however, we tested Duplex at the same Tibetan restaurant and it again used a human caller despite our earlier successful booking. So Duplex doesn't appear to learn quickly. Now, let us take a deeper look at how the program works. If you need to reserve a table at a restaurant, you say to the assistant, Hey Google, book me a table. The assistant will automatically call the nearest restaurant, but in case you want to choose a specific restaurant, you will have to specify the area or the name of a desired restaurant. Then you will be offered to choose the cuisine, Chinese, 
Thai, barbecue, or any other. Having chosen the desired restaurant, you proceed to a conversation with Duplex, say the desired booking time, and the number of people. However, all these steps can be skipped by choosing a seat in Google Maps and clicking Book a Table there. It is noteworthy that in many cases, Google Duplex was not able to reach out to every restaurant. In some cases, only online booking was available, while others could not be contacted by the robot. Duplex will ask you for all the information before calling. As you already noticed, Duplex asks a lot of questions. It needs to know as much as possible about what the client wants, when, who, where, what if, and so on. At a glance, this process may seem time-consuming. I mean, it seems a bit easier to book the desired table yourself than try to make the robot do it for you. But on the other hand, this way the program is able to learn faster what the client wants and at one point you will be able to tell the assistant, book as usual, and it will do the rest of the job. The booking process. All your reserved seats will be stored in an assistance app. They will be sent there via email, calendar, or duplex. Duplex notes are highlighted in blue, so they are not confused with others. Each such card contains all the necessary information required to make the booking possible. Here you can find the date of the booking, time, number of guests, the name of the restaurant and its address, as well as the name for whom the table was booked. A handy thing, don't you agree? If due to an emergency you decide to cancel your reservation, Duplex will also help you with that. Click on the Cancel Reservation button and an assistant will call the restaurant to cancel your reservation. But keep in mind, you can only cancel one order per day. In addition, if you keep ordering tables and then cancel in the long term, you will not be allowed to use Duplex any longer. As you see, this feature with its current pros is very promising, but Duplex needs a lot of data in order to improve. In recent years, the development of AI has greatly accelerated thanks to so-called neural networks, complex mathematical systems that learn to complete tasks by analyzing huge streams of data. In other words, by analyzing many pictures of a cow, for example, the system will learn to recognize the features of a cow. This technology has greatly improved the machine's ability to recognize words, understand how they are used, and even generate speech. At Duplex, Google has combined these various tasks into one system. A lot of data is required to develop such a system, and Google may receive it from call center employees and then use it to evolve. Nick Fox, a Google executive, explains that the company is not aggressively trying to exclude human participation because it could hurt the business owners. Instead, they try to improve the system over time and gradually reduce the influence of people. So we all agree that currently Google Duplex is not as smart as it seems. In an era where companies celebrate the arrival of artificial intelligence, modern technology is not as smart as it might seem. Duplex can make restaurant reservations over the phone, but it still relies heavily on human intelligence and has a hard time coping with emergency situations. This is what Jerry Kaplan, author of Humans Need Not Apply, A Guide to Wealth and Work in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, and a Stanford University lecturer on artificial intelligence, has to say about this matter. There are three things that are important when it comes to AI's interactions with humans. Context, context, and context. Machines are very good with detail, but terrible at context. The public does not always see the full picture, in part because of the way companies advertise their product. When Google first showcased Duplex, no one mentioned human involvement. But at the same time, technology is evolving at a very rapid rate. No one can really tell what the future holds for artificial intelligence. Finding answers to all the questions is difficult, especially considering that we do not fully know what technology is capable of. We will have to wait and see. On this note, we end our video. We would like to know your opinion about this topic. Don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and press the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and talk to you in the next video.